Hello, eTech522 classmates. My name's Scott Tamek, and uh, I thought this might be a fun way to share some of my uh, thoughts about the uh, app OER discussions that we're having this week. I'm not always the fastest typer in the world, and uh, sometimes having a conversation is, uh, is a nice way to do these things. So this will be a one-way conversation, but uh, nonetheless, here are a couple of my, uh, my thoughts. The um, apps that were presented uh, on the OER website I thought were some excellent examples. Uh, there's a few here that I've been using um, for some time and I thought I'd just highlight them for you. Uh, Goodreader, uh, which is one that uh, a number of classmates I noticed had already posted material about. I find this just an indispensable app. I'm not too sure uh, how I'd be able to get through a program uh, like MUT without it. Uh, I'm using it on a daily basis for um, reading, uh, for the most part. Um, all of our course materials, um, as well as uh, in my regular uh, teaching practice in, uh, in high school. Um, I find it really easy to uh, synchronize uh, documents, to import documents, um, and most importantly to be able to annotate documents, uh, whether it's with simple highlighting, uh, tagging with sticky notes, uh, even audio comments that can be added to documents. Um, there are also some really great utilities that make it easy for students to uh, upload and, and hand in work that they may have completed. So uh, I highly recommend Goodreader if you haven't tried it. Uh, one of the others that I'd recommend that seems to be getting a fair bit of buzz here on uh, our class site is um, uh, 53's Paper. Uh, I really enjoy the simplicity of this app. I think this is one of those apps that's just so well designed, it's so elegant, it has a very uh, clear uh, purpose, uh, it accomplishes it uh, so well. And I'm not a particularly good artist, uh, but I just find uh, uh, it's so enjoyable to, to noodle around and to just play on uh, the paper app. I think uh, playing is a really uh, important activity that in our busy lives with important things to do, we sometimes forget to just stop uh, and play. My kids love using this one too. Um, of the other apps that are here, uh, I guess the only other one that I've had some experience with is uh, Dragon. And uh, it really is a, a fairly fun way to uh, search for not just uh, information on the internet, uh, but as it suggests through uh, emails, blogs, and, and text. Um, it's the, the sort of uh, feature set that you wish was already integrated into your iOS device. Uh, and in some cases, if you have a newer iPad or newer iPhone, some of the voice dictation is already coming around. Uh, and it's based on Nuance Technology, uh, the same company that makes Dragon. So uh, I believe that app is free as well. So I'd say it's certainly worth the download. Anyway, here are a couple of uh, other apps that you may want to check out. Some of these are free too. Uh, the first one I'm going to suggest is uh, Thicket. Um, Thicket is just a fun way to uh, visualize uh, music. I think this could be fun for particularly elementary school students. Um, I've even had a, a copy of it on an iPad uh, in a couple of my high school classes. And kids love to just sort of sit and noodle around with this. Um, to be able to uh, practice the, the sort of interactivity and the gestures that you get uh, on an iPad. Uh, it's kind of a hard one to describe. I'd really suggest just sort of downloading it and toying it with a little bit. Uh, from some of these screen grabs, I think you can get the sense that uh, depending on your finger combinations and how you move them around, uh, you invoke different sounds, different rhythms that take place. Uh, and then you get a really sort of hypnotic visual that goes along with it. So um, not a, a, a really uh, highly academic app. Uh, again, just something that's sort of fun and engaging and uh, really makes use of the multi-gesture uh, um, uh, touch capabilities of iOS devices. Uh, here's another app I'd recommend checking out, uh, and this one happens to be free as well, and it's a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, this is made by Autodesk, the folks that make AutoCAD. It's called 123D Sculpt, and uh, it allows you to sculpt in a virtual uh, environment. So you get to pick from a, a number of preset models that are built into the program. Um, you can uh, purchase uh, other in-app purchases for for uh, other models if you choose. But the basic models it comes with are a lot of fun and then you get to use different tools uh, and treat uh, the model as though it were clay to be able to pinch, pull, uh, drag, 
uh, and mold the model as well as work on it in 3D space. That you can't see from this tutorial, but it, it really makes good use of the graphics capability on an iPad. Uh, then you can start to add uh, textures and paint on the, uh, the object itself as well. It's a great app if you wanted to introduce just some of the concepts of uh, 3D modeling. Uh, or if you're uh, working on a unit on CGI computer graphics. Uh, and as well, uh, kids just love to play with this one uh, along with adults too, so I'd highly recommend that. Uh, another one um, that I'd recommend that makes good use of the uh, camera functions on iOS devices is called Leaf Snap. Uh, I was in my garden one day um, wondering what a particular bush was, and uh, uh, I came across this app. Um, that allows you to take a picture of a, a plant uh, and it will try and identify based on the leaf, the outline of the leaf, uh, what sort of plant you're looking at. And then you can begin to contribute information that you find in your own backyard um, to the database of information that's here as well. Um, it's got a fairly extensive database of um, um, uh, plants and trees already in it. A little bit more based, um, I believe, out of the United States, but um, where I live in Ontario, uh, a lot of the uh, the same plants appeared. So uh, well worth checking out. And uh, again, makes really interesting use of the the uh, camera capabilities, and then as well the GPS um, location tracking, so that uh, you can identify in a map where you found the plant. Uh, two left. Here's Catch uh, One Two Three Catch. This is also by Autodesk. Uh, this one, again, is one of those ones you just have to download and sort of try it. It allows you to create uh, 3D, interactive 3D models out of 2D pictures. How it works is you're uh, using the camera function on your phone or your iPad. You're moving around the subject, um, taking multiple photographs, and then the uh, program will stitch those photographs together and create or make its best attempt at creating a 3D model. It's not always perfect. Uh, but you can understand where the technology is going, and it's really exciting to uh, to try out. I highly recommend it. Finally, and this one is more of an academic um, uh, type application. It would fit uh, quite a number of the parameters that were on the uh, edudemic uh, rubric that was posted for this week's uh, readings. In particular, um, being able to to uh, track students' work. Uh, to engage in, in sort of higher um, order thinking. And what it is is a, a program that allows younger students um, ages five and up to learn some of the basic concepts of programming and it's a bit of a blend between um, you know uh, a really simplified programming language crossed with uh, a bit of gamification. So the idea here is that you need to move the turtle um, through a, a sort of preset obstacle uh, and in the process of that, you're going to have to learn how to uh, control the turtle uh, through basic operations. So if you need to rotate the turtle, um, you know, 180 degrees, then make him stop, move ahead uh, a certain number of paces, uh, and then maybe have him um, uh, turn around. All sorts of different concepts about logic and uh, programming, things that might be really sort of um, abstract and difficult to try and teach kids, but if you put it into a game type situation like this, um, I've seen my nine-year-old daughter sit down with this uh, and actually um, start to have a lot of fun. Uh, and it's pretty inexpensive at $2.99. So there's uh, my few cents worth in uh, under 10 minutes. Uh, I hope you found uh, at least a couple of these apps um, interesting and, and worthwhile checking out. I really enjoyed this week's um, uh, Apple we are and uh, I look forward to uh, reading more comments. Thanks everybody